Ever wonder what those big poster boards on college sidelines mean for football players? Well, I did too until I asked around. I'm about to let you know what they mean coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro and world champion quarterback. And today, I want to talk about signaling in from the sidelines, kind of the evolution of how it happened in college football and what those poster boards on the sideline are all about. But first, if you're new to the channel or if you just dig football content, love talking about quarterback play, love learning how to develop as an athlete, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ring the bell. Also, give us a like down below, hit the thumbs up button, and leave a comment so that I can understand what it is that you're looking for and how I can help you or just tell me what you think about this video. Please share this out. Let your friends, teammates, family know that we're out there. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me for this channel in such a short time, and I want to continue to grow this channel. So now let's talk about signaling from the sidelines. I got a great question from one of our subscribers the other day, and it was Matthew S. said, I would like to hear the breakdown of sandwich boards teams hold up. I know you never played with them, but I'm sure you have a unique perspective on how they work. And we're going to take a look at a couple of the sandwich boards coming up here pretty quickly. I'll show you some, tell you what I think about them, but I just want to kind of set the stage for it right now. When I was playing back in college and in the NFL, we would signal in the plays from the sidelines. And so you had different signals, just like baseball, only you had a huge repertoire of plays, protections, routes, those kind of things that you were going to use. Anytime you're watching teams, if you're watching a coach signal it in and you see this, this or that, it's going to be a screen. Back when I was playing, there was only two speeds. It was huddle and play, or it was two minutes. We are all out, not trying to waste a second. Let's go get after it. In which case, they weren't sending in plays from the sideline. Quarterbacks were just calling their own plays on the field, and you were running your own offense. So those were the two different tempos that we had back when I was playing. Nowadays, college football, tempo has become a real tool. And so as a result, you get a lot of these teams using the sandwich boards or the poster boards on the sidelines. As the poster boards gain popularity, now teams are also getting their poster boards memed, which means more teams have started using them to try to create the coolest and most memeable, if that's a word, poster boards on that sideline. The reason that colleges use, still use signals and still use the poster boards is because in the pro game, you actually have speakers in your helmet. So the coach can literally just call a play on the headset or on a walkie-talkie, and you're going to hear it live in your helmet. You don't need signals. They can't pick signals on the opposite sidelines. I imagine there are some teams that have been screwing around trying to find frequencies so they can pick up plays, but they can't pick them through anything visual. So that said, let's talk about sandwich boards. What can you put on a sandwich board? Well, I hear a lot of guys talking about, oh, it's personnel. Well, generally speaking, you're going to have a personnel group with you on the field. Could be 10, could be 11, could be 12, could be 22, whatever it is. You're going to have that personnel group with you on the field. And so if the coaches want to change personnel groups, they're going to do that from the sideline. So although they may have something on the cards about personnel, you're already going to see what personnel group is coming onto the field. So it could be there to alert you, to tell the team, hey, get them off the field because we've got Eagle coming in or we've got Seattle coming in or whatever it is. But personnel is a coaching decision, comes from the sideline, you're going to see that. So personnel, not as big a deal when it comes to those sandwich cards, but you can have formation, you can have motion, you can have the play or plays, in case you run with a check with me offense, where you could have a play designed in, RPO takes care of that for you. But you could have two plays, depending on which defense you get. You check with me as a quarterback. So it could be plays coming in. And then, as I pointed out earlier, tempo is now a big deal in college football. So you could have the tempo of the play as well. The last thing that you're going to have is you may see guys calling plays on the sideline, running in signals, doing something, touching their helmets or their shoulder pads or whatever with the headsets on. You may see coaches doing the same thing. And you may also see those poster boards on the sideline because sometimes those poster boards are nothing more than eye candy and it's the signal that's actually calling the place. The poster boards can be a decoy at times or at times there could be a signal that sends the player back to the poster board. All that said, 
let's take a look at some of these poster boards. So here's a look at Clemson, and you can see their boards have a bomb, Tom and Jerry. Too small for me to see who that is, but a lot of these boards have people on them for one reason or another, and they have their school logo. Now, the other boards behind, I don't know if they're not using them or if they're upside down or if that is some kind of key to it. A lot of the times, they will have their own special code that it takes Enigma to break, but you also see coaches and players down here signaling. Generally speaking, they're saying, this is that feed me move where they're spooning something in their mouth. Likely, they're saying, run the same play again. Feed me. Do it again. Feed him. Give him the ball. Probably running the ball, running it extremely well. Probably have an RPO on, knowing Clemson. And so they're saying, feed him. Do it again. Keep feeding the machine. Let's go. And this board, in this case, is probably a decoy. Now, again, you have two coaches in this case, a coach and a quarterback, excuse me, in the same signal. And so that means something. When you see two guys doing it, it likely means something, unless, of course, they've built up this entire scheme where one guy does it, two guys does it. But see, the, the combinations are endless in terms of how you can run this. Now let's take a look at Oregon. I love this because it's old school with Caddyshack, Bill Murray, and the gopher. Seems to be a lot of gophers all over this thing. Anytime you have Lee Corso on a board, that means you're going to get on ESPN. And so that's obviously part of these cards. Remember when I said the cards are the cool factor? That's part of it right there. And then team logos. Oftentimes, teams will use team logos for formations. If they saw Seattle or Detroit or San Francisco run a certain formation, a bunch package, whatever that they want to get to, they'll use some kind of team logo for something that they saw on film to get to a formation or a play. And they'll keep it consistent so that every time they call a professional team or a college team or whatever it is, it's going to be a formation. Or they'll call that college team or a pro team, and it will be a play. One or the other. They don't switch them back, back and forth between them because that would make the rules inconsistent. But obviously, a lot of gophers on this one. Corso is always a winner on TV. And team logos mean they have some kind of formation of play based on team logos. Now, remember, we talked about what can you put into it. You can put in formation. You can put in motion. You can put in play or plays. And you can put in tempo. I love this one from Oklahoma State because this is likely the wheel of tempo. I would guess whichever side is up or down, depending on what they've said this half, is going to be the tempo of that play, of that series. In this case, you've got movie with hot buttered popcorn tempo. Sit down, relax, watch a movie, right? You've got the slug it out, which to me would be like a grind it, you know, kind of slow it down, super slow. We're going to grind it out, you know, punch him in the mouth, that kind of tempo. You've got poker where you can take your chances, maybe change up the tempo a little bit. I don't know. I'm just guessing, but... I would say this is the tempo board in the hexagon. You've got the Gatorade, which means everybody's going to be thirsty because we're running really fast. You've got the nuclear explosion. By the way, they double dipped on the nuclear explosion here on the left-hand side. But the nuclear explosion, which is super hot fire, like let's get it going. And then Nike, of course, I believe was a Greek or a Roman god, but he was fast. And so that's super fast as the Nike. Or somewhere in there is your tempo for your wheel. On the opposite side, you're going to have plays and formations and you know you got Duck Dynasty and Ice-T and Michael Jordan all on the same board how can you miss and coaches of course this is after the fact or before the fact but somebody down here is waiting around to signal this in and so if you're going to go to the board somebody's going to give you a signal of which one you're working on is it up or down is it left or right is it a single board i would guarantee that all of these pictures don't mean anything, don't mean something on the same play. Some of those are decoys. Some of those are dummies. Again, you can see school logo in there. And you're going to see a lot of that on these cards where you see the school logo in it. And so that's one where there's a lot of decoys up there, a lot of dummy calls up there. But there's also some information up there the team and the quarterback needs. And this is one of my all-time favorites because it's University of Auburn. 
and being a Pac-12 guy, I love to laugh about the SEC, but they have to let them know that they're going to school at Auburn, and so they have all four of the logos here. The standard letter logo, the full design logo, the old school logo, and the War Eagle. And so, again, somebody signal us in. You can see this guy over here giving him a signal on the sideline. That's going to tell him which of these four, one, two, three, four, means something to him. And as a result, that's going to be the play call the way that it comes in. So as you can see, a million different ways to get formation, motion, play, tempo into the game. Sandwich boards, a quick way to communicate that, especially for those teams that use those up-tempo sets. If you like what I did here today, and if you love talking football, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. Make sure you like it down below, give it a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the poster boards from the sideline, what you think about them, maybe what's your favorite poster board. Also, share this out. Friends, family, teammates, fellow quarterbacks, that'd be fantastic. I appreciate your response and your help on this channel. Let's blow this thing up. Let's help as many young quarterbacks, as many young athletes as we can. We had a little fun today with the poster boards. Love having fun. The sport is all about having fun. But some quarterback training, improve your football skills, and your love of the game. I'll talk to you again soon.